Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to talk about how you can crack face to face interview in any company. And this is your second round after online test. This is a face to face technical interview, how you can crack it easily. I'll give you the tips and tricks to crack any face to face, any technical interview. Before starting, let me introduce myself to those who are new to my channel. Hi guys, my name is Amita Singh and I'm a full stack developer working in Verizon. I have also worked in CTS. So let's start today's video. Always your face to face interview will be starting from your introduction. Now, in the introduction, you have to add the crisp, crisp of your CV. The interviewer might have not gone through your CV. There is a probability. So better you add your crisp of CV to the interviewer in your introduction. Start your introduction from your you know, schooling, then in college, what are you pursuing and what, were, what was your CGP and all that stuff. After this, what are your field of interest, your technologies, your skills, your project, your hobbies, your achievements. There are many things you need to talk to the interviewer in your introduction. Means you have to summarize your CV in front of interviewer. Don't expect like interviewer might have gone through my CV. He might be aware of what project I've worked on. Don't expect that because interviewer might have not time, might not have get, got time to read or to go through your CV. So better provide the information of your CV, field of interest, the skills you are interested, the programming language you are interested in, provide every, every detail of yours to the interviewer in your introduction. It could extend one or two minutes, three minutes, it's okay. Now, if you're providing skills or, skills or pure programming language, the next question will be from your skills or either from your skills or from your project. So you are making interviewer to ask questions from your field of interest. This is way you can make the interview goes on. Now the next thing you need to remember, you, ha you have to cover three or four important topics before sitting in any interview. Make sure your introduction is up to date. Make sure your, your inter introduction is perfect. After this, you should have a good understanding in DBMS and SQL. Any companies, whether they are giving 10 lakh package, 4 lakh package, 5 lakh package, the questions in DBMS is same for all the companies. And I have provided you the detail, the very important topic or only important topics asked, asked in interviews. The only important topic. You can go through, I will provide you the link in the description box. You can go through that tutorial of DBMS. Now, I'm not asking you to go through only my tutorial. You can find the tutorial on YouTube or anywhere. You can easily find. But the thing is, they are providing 40 or 50 videos for DBMS. They are providing 60 to 70 videos on SQL. But you are not preparing for gate preparation, right? You are not preparing for gate. You are preparing for placement interview. So for placement point of view, whatever I have, whatever topic I have covered in my tutorial is the only topic any interviewer is going to ask you. Apart from that, there will be no extra questions and I bet it. Now go through my DBMS question bank or uh, that important question series. I will provide you the link in the description box. Now the next thing in SQL, DBMS and SQL are different. Okay, database management system that is more of a theoretical. Now in the SQL, I haven't yet uploaded uh, the question bank. I'll upload it very soon. The questions, they may ask related to joins. They may ask related to the keys. They may ask you to fetch some information, some names that in starting from M. Very basic questions. They will not ask you to write some very tough query. They will ask you to what are joins? Can you differentiate all the joins with example? So this way you have to answer the interviewer or you have to prepare for your technical interview. Only basic questions from DBMS, which you can see in my tutorial, which I have provided. Only that questions is enough for DBMS in SQL. There are only important questions, which I'll provide you soon. Now the next thing, before sitting in an interview, after introduction and DBMS, you need to know one programming language and one programming language you should have that much understanding you should have a core knowledge of that programming language if it is if it is a java then read the information read the material of core java make your base ready don't go for advanced java it's not required 
for your placement after fourth year it is not required for an advanced level of java core java is enough for you you can get core java tutorial from java t point or many java websites are there you can easily find uh, over there you can prepare well now if you have selected from programming language you should know what are the questions they can ask to write some program and some important program for interview point of view are patterns pattern program is very important most of the interviewer ask pattern program i'm talking i'm not talking talking about the product based companies interview i'm talking about only service based company interview how you can easily crack and they will not ask you uh, stack difficult questions pattern string reverse fibonacci series prime number string length string uh, the character repetitions the count the character repeated character in a string or uh, you know that whether the string is anagram or not whether a string is anagram or not so these are the basic questions they may ask in an interview now the next thing uh they may not ask you to write the write any program because it happens to me he my interviewer didn't ask me to write any program so it depends on interviewer to interviewer they may ask you to write program it depends on uh, completely on interviewer now the next thing you should have a better understanding of your project which is very important guys let's talk about the project at the end because i'll give you some very important you know tricks or tips how you can prepare for your project even if you don't have any project i'll give you that at the end of the video let before let's talk about the informative things or the chapters which you should cover before sitting in an interview what i tell introduction database any programming language with programming skills what are the programming uh, program you should know i already told you now the core knowledge of java the, the the theoretical knowledge of c the theoretical knowledge of c++ the difference between c c++ and java you should be aware of this oops concept which is very important very very important every interview ask you oops on oops concept in java c whatever sorry c++ oops concept started from there now what are the oops concept if you are defining oops concept then guys remember one thing you have to you know not give you just you have to don't tell like these are the oops these are the terms which is there in the oops concept you have to define the term with an example you have to give in a real time example or any example with each oops concept term okay always remember this now the next thing D ds in data structure see most of the company they don't ask data structure questions most of the specially service based company who is providing package of 3 to 4 lakh but you should prepare for data structure because you don't know what the interviewer may ask you right so uh, what are the data structure important topic in terms of 4 to 5 package sorting and searching algorithm time and time and space complexity of sorting and searching algorithm bubble sort insertion sort selection sort this sorting algorithm you should have an understanding of it you should know what are the time complexity of each uh, you know sorting algorithm selection bubble everything time complexity space complexity okay now the next thing array list linked list at least you should know the difference between array list and linked list and when with example where you can use array list and in which scenario you can use linked list you should have a basic understanding i'm not asking you to read the program how to write array list how to create array list how to create linked list and, and all that stuff i'm not asking you to go through all this stuff i'm just giving you a basic information how you can crack any interview which is a like service based interview four to five packages that's all array list linked list basic difference between array list linked list with an example stack and queue difference between stack and queue with an example that's all in ds these company with less packages they won't expect much in data structure it's not product based interview product based companies interview is at next level so this is how you can get any companies this is you can crack any companies interview companies like tcs cts capgemini accenture uh, wipro these are all the service based company you can easily crack only you should know you should be aware of uh, and you should know how to introduce yourself you should have a good understanding in dbms which is very less very less topics are there whether you are it student non it student anybody can read this and anybody can easily understand this those topic now after that we have a any programming skills you should know you should know how to write programs at least some basics program which i have provided you should have a core knowledge of c c++ java your ds skills now let's talk about the project 
see guys those who have the project it's well and good now you should be able to talk for at least three minutes on your project you should prepare yourself like that now what are the questions the interviewer will ask you related to your project they may ask you the technologies which you have used if you have used uh, html css you have worked on front end suppose you have developed a web developer you uh, you created a website you can tell that right um, Okay, now in the web development, what they ask, they, can, they, they may ask you related to question related to HTML, CSS, HTML we used for structure, CSS used for, I used for styling and for responsive, I used bootstrap. You can, you know, bluff anybody with your, um, you know, a virtual project. You can bluff, you can easily bluff, bluff if you don't have the project. If you have the project, then it's really good. You must be having the good knowledge but you, if you don't have don't be scared don't be tensed because many of the questions many of the students were asking me like ma'am i don't have the project because of lockdown i couldn't make my project i couldn't complete my project don't worry guys we have github we have so many websites where you can get projects only thing you should know you should work very smartly even if you are you are chori karo wo bhi dimag se okay you are taking those projects you should have a good understanding on this project. What is that project? What that project do? What is the technologies they, uh, they are using in that project? The questions will be from related to technologies or related to the language you use, related to the libraries you use in that project and the component you use in the project. Nothing else. They are not going to tell you, oh, come on, write a code of your you know, website. They will not ask you that. And suppose in case you are not getting any answer, in case you are not answerable on some questions related to some coding and skills or some related to website stuffing and all that stuff, then remember one thing. You can tell the interviewer, every code is available on internet. Every code is available on Google. So I referred Google for this, uh, you know, to create my website. I referred how I created the login page. I referred Google. I found easily, I, I easily found the code. So I wrote it down. So that's why you can, you know, it's not bad that you are uh, uh, telling them like you haven't write the code by your own. No, nobody will judge you on that because everybody takes help from Google. Even the people sitting in industry, they are working on big, big project. They are also Googling out, uh, you know, the codes, right? So it's not bad. It's, it will not, you know, give a bad impression of you. Even if you are telling like this, like you search from Google, it, it, it is not bad. Now, those who are non-IT non student, guys, if you do not have any project or you need any help, like take any, uh, you know, project related to IoT, Arduino stuff for, for easy student who has not created project related to and all that stuff. It doesn't matter whether your project is from IT or not. It really hardly matters. You have to explain and you have to explain very, very confident that you are very confident about this project. If somebody is asking you, you have to be like very confident. Oh, this is this stuff. This is this step. Because if you will fumble over there, if, if you will fumble over there, then, you know, the interview may catch you at the time. See, okay. So be careful guys while you are explaining about your project. You can prepare your project uh, a day or night before your interview because you know that this question is going to come. How you are going to answer it, you need uh, good preparation on that. Now uh, that's all about today's session of face-to-face uh, -face technical interview. If you go through the topic which I have covered in this session, you can easily crack any interview with a package of three, four, five, six. You can easily crack any service based uh, interview. So hope I have make you understand guys and thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, you can go ahead and subscribe to my channel and I'll provide you more informative video related to your placement, related to recruitment process or uh, related to any interview. Thank you for watching.